brain hypoxia or cerebral hypoxia causes and prevention brain hypoxia is a form of hypoxia or oxygen deficiency affecting the brain it occurs when the brain does not receive enough oxygen even though blood is still flowing when oxygen supply is totally cut off it is called brain anoxia brain hypoxia is a medical emergency because the brain needs a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients to function properly there are several causes of brain hypoxia they include drowning suffocating cardiac arrest and stroke mild symptoms include memory loss and problems with motor function such as movement severe cases can result in seizures and brain death watch on to learn more about brain hypoxia also known as cerebral hypoxia symptoms the symptoms of a lack of oxygen to the brain or brain hypoxia may be mild or severe and depend on the level and duration of oxygen deprivation mild symptoms of brain hypoxia include temporary loss of memory problems moving parts of the body in a in attentiveness poor judgment brain cells can begin to die within 5 minutes of oxygen loss symptoms become more dangerous the longer oxygen flow to the brain is cut off severe symptoms of brain hypoxia include coma seizure brain death in cases of brain death there is no brain activity the pupils of the eyes do not respond to light and people cannot breathe without assistance from a life support machine however the heart continues to pump blood around the body causes of brain hypoxia there are many reasons why someone may experience brain hypoxia some medical conditions and situations that reduce oxygen supply to the brain include amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or als and other diseases that paralyze the breathing muscles brain injury carbon monoxide poisoning cardiac arrest choking complications arising from anesthesia drowning drug overdose high altitudes irregular heartbeat lung diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or copd lung infections including pneumonia respiratory arrest severe asthma attack smoke inhalation for example in a house fire strangulation stroke suffocation trauma to the windpipe or lungs trauma that causes blood loss very low blood pressure also called hypotension risk factors brain hypoxia can affect anyone who experiences a shortage or lack of oxygen to the brain but some people are at a, are at higher risk than others risk factors for brain hypoxia include playing specific sports sports enthusiasts may be at higher risk if they engage in activities that have a higher risk than others of resulting in a head injury or trauma to the windpipe those who must hold their breath for long periods or travel to high altitudes are also at increased risk examples of risky activities include boxing diving football mountain climbing swimming having certain medical conditions many medical conditions have the potential to affect the oxygen flow to the brain examples of such conditions include als asthma heart problems hypotension lung diseases muscle diseases working in some professions people experiencing exposure to intense smoke 
or carbon monoxide through their job such as firefighters may be at increased risk of brain hypoxia diagnosis a doctor will usually diagnose brain hypoxia based on a person's medical history a physical examination and other tests during the medical history and physical examination the doctor will ask about someone's current symptoms and and recent activities the doctor may request tests to confirm hypoxia and find out its cause this test include angio angiogram of the brain blood test to check for blood oxygen levels ct scan of the head chest x-ray to see the lungs echocardiogram to see the heart electrocardiogram or ecg to measure the electrical activity of the heart electro encephalogram or eeg to measure the brain's electrical activity and understand the cause of seizures mri imaging scan of the head prevention it can be challenging to avoid all cases of brain hypoxia for example it is difficult to prevent a brain injury received during an unexpected car collision to have the best chance of preventing hypoxia people should monitor health conditions and avoid high altitudes people should wear proper protective equipment such as helmets when playing sports with high risk of head injury if a person receives cardiopulmonary resuscitation or cpr after a fire or head injury they may be less likely to experience brain hypoxia or or for it to be less severe cpr can save lives especially if carried out immediately brain hypoxia is a medical emergency if someone displays the symptoms of brain hypoxia of or if they are losing consciousness call the emergency services without delay people have their best chance of recovery if they receive medical treatment right away prompt medical attention reduces the amount of time that oxygen flow to the brain is limited